Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the Inno roof rack with the 51 inch long crossbars and the Inno through feet. We're going to take a look at how they fit on the 2022 Volkswagen Taos. If you want to carry around fun accessories like kayaks or a roof box, maybe you need more cargo space or you need to carry around a roof basket, what you first need is a roof rack system. This is going to be a roof rack from Inno. There's some different options when it comes to length. This is going to be your more low profile and sleek option with a 51 inch long crossbars where it still gives you a little overhang but doesn't stick out as far. We'll talk about how that fits here on this vehicle, some things you may need to keep in mind depending on what you are planning on carrying around. The first thing let's talk about is overhang and this is how far out the crossbar sits out from the tower. So when you measure the front, it's about two inches. Measure the back, there's about three inches from the tower to right before the end cap. You do have raised rails on your Taos, which is great because then you can move your crossbars pretty much anywhere you want it to go. So that's gonna be your crossbar spread. Measuring from the center of one crossbar to another, I have it set to 28 inches, which is a good average for most accessories. You can push this further out though, and depending on your towers, you could get maybe a maximum of 40 or 41 inches of crossbar spread. For the roof height clearance, the inno roof rack is pretty low profile, meaning it doesn't add much height to the top of your roof, which can be a good thing. So there's two measurements there. One is how much space do you have underneath your crossbars. If you measure right over here, you're gonna get about two and a quarter inches of clearance. If you have, let's say, a roof box that uses a U-bolt and a wing nut, so like a lot of tools back here, you probably won't have enough clearance. I recommend looking at some low profile clamping options. Next is how high will your cargo sit? So measuring from top of roof to top of the crossbar, I have it at around three and a half inches. And if you're carrying around, let's say skis with extra tall bindings, you wanna make sure that there's enough clearance for those bindings and they don't hit your roof. And if you don't have enough clearance, that's when you start looking at our accessories that give you that extra height. These are Inno Aero Bars, which means compared to your traditional round or square crossbars, they're a lot more aerodynamic because of their shape. So that way there's less wind drag and wind noise when you're on the road. They also have the shiny end caps, which I'm a huge fan of, but really more of an aesthetic thing than anything. When you take out the end caps though, you do get access to the T-Track system. This is a push down wind strip. So if you wanna put an accessory through, you just push down on the wind strip, slide the T-Track accessory, and then you can mount whatever you are hauling. That way you don't have to cut up the wind strips, just pop the end cap back in and you're ready to ride. The bars are made of aluminum and they have a sleek finish on them. That way, if you wanna leave your roof rack on your vehicle all year round, they, will, or they are designed to hold up to the elements. With that in mind though, it does have a weight capacity of 165 pounds. Make sure to add the weight of your carrier, the weight of your cargo, and that total should not exceed 165 or your vehicle's roof weight capacity. Compared to a lot of other brands, the keys are actually included with this one. So you have four lock cores for the four towers, you get two keys, and this way you can access the tower system. Notice how you don't need any tools, you just have the lever there, and that way it's easier to take on and off as needed. Now taking the roof rack off and back on is a very simple process. You don't really need to bring anything because everything is included with your kit. If anything, maybe grab your own tape measure just to get all those measurements correct. Let's take a look at that process. Installing this roof rack is actually very simple. It might look a little complicated at first because there's different tabs and plates and you're sliding things around, but it's a very simple process that I will guide you through. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to set up the tower and the crossbar. Your end caps are included, so pop those on. There is a left and a right end cap. We're then going to slide this plate over. Notice how there's a little bit of a button there. Press down on the button, push that through, and now we have this open space. That open space is designed for the crossbar tower. So notice how you have those little tabs on the front and the back. Those fit right over that open plate. 
make sure it's fully seated, and then you push out on the tower to secure. Fortunately, you do not have to worry about the tower falling off, and that way you can lift it safely. We're going to lift this onto our roof. So carefully get onto the roof and rest this onto your rails. Don't worry about getting the straps in place yet. You can do that once they're on the rails. The strap goes underneath the rail and then you push the tower back and then you put the strap into the tab on the tower. Now before you tighten anything down, go ahead and make your adjustments. You can move your crossbars back and forth for your different crossbar spread. Just make sure that wherever you measure from, it's going to be the same on both sides. That way you can get in good spot for all four towers. Once you've decided on where your towers will go, and I went with a 28 inch crossbar spread because we're carrying kayaks with us, we're next going to make sure that the bars are even. So to do so, you measure from the overhang to the end cap. For the front crossbar, I have about two inches on each side. Rear crossbar is going to be three inches on each side. Might be more or less, give or take. But once you've figured that number out and they're even, tighten it down. With all four towers secure, give them a little push just to double check. This is a very secure fit. We're then going to put the end caps for the towers on them. So I have them in the unlocked position, turn it to the locked position, and just like that, you're good to go. Fortunately, these lock cores are included and one key can access all four towers. Now make sure all four towers are locked, then keep your keys, put them on your keychain or in your vehicle, and that's it for the install. Super fast, super easy, you're ready to load this up and hit the road. That was a look at the Inno roof rack with the 51 inch long arrow crossbars and the Inno through feet here on our 2022 Volkswagen Taos.